to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Wednesday, August 8th, 2018. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into Recap Wednesday by talking about the only action in town last weekend. Tim Gardner's at Tampa Pro. In the men's open, Alexis Rolone made history when he became the first native-born Puerto Rican citizen to punch his ticket to the Olympia stage and what turned out to be an amazing win over Sergio Oliva Jr. And just as we predicted right here last week, the 212 crown went to second-year powerhouse Nicholas Bouliad. Alina Popa dominated from start to finish as she put on the best women's bodybuilding performance we've seen in a long time. Henry Pierreneau was absolutely brilliant in classic physique on his way to capturing his first win. And once again in the open bikini, it was Canadian knockout Lorelei Chapatos bringing home the win, with the over 40 bikini going to Ang Swan Jariel. Logan Franklin brought in the best look ever of his career to win in men's physique, and in the men's physique over 40, it was Virginia's own Andrew Jenkins Jr. who brought home the gold back to Portsmouth. Melissa Bumstead soared to victory over what might have been the biggest figure lineup of all time in an IFBB event. And Cinderella Richardson took home top honors in figure over 40. And wrapping things up for the evening in women's physique with a statement win was none other than former Arnold Classic champ, Autumn Swanson. If you want to be an entrepreneur, rule number one in business is making sure that you never leave a single stone unturned because the details always matter. And in the run-up to this year's Bikini Olympia, I can promise you that nobody knows that better than perennial title threat Casey Samsel. Over the weekend, we saw Samsel and her team drop a short clip from one of their latest leg day sessions, where we catch the veterans starting to turn up the heat now that she's a little more than a month away from showtime. To her credit, Samsel's been awesome every time we've seen her this year. And with this year's Bikini race shaping up to be one of the closest we've ever had, this is usually the time when the thoroughbreds like Samsel start to separate themselves from the pack. To quote the great Dr. Eric Thomas, success is never on discount. You always pay full price. And I bet you won't find reigning and defending figure international champ Candace Lewis doing any of her trophy shopping in the clearance section. This week we saw one of the best in the business paying up on her dues in the gym to the tune of a serious Monday morning leg session where we can start to see some of those flashes of brilliance peeking through that we saw back at the start of the season. At this point, I think it's a pretty well-established fact that Lewis is one of the most gifted athletes to ever step onto a figure stage. But if she wants to bring this thing full circle and put herself up there with the rest of the elite athletes, she'll need to finish what she started by winning it all this year to really put that final stamp on her legacy. Well, just in case anyone out there thought that Flex Lewis was packing it in this year, since it's his last title run, let me be the first to say you guys were dead wrong. Unless you've been living under a rock, then by now you've probably seen the latest round of official updates from Flex and his team that were released on Monday that showed the greatest 212 athlete of all time looking like a straight up beast. Regardless of how you might feel about his impending retirement, when you look at what he's doing right now, knowing that this is his final ride, you can't help but admire the way he's single-handedly raised the bar for what's possible in the division. And I know that I personally can't wait to see him come out one last time and put on a show for the fans that I guarantee you no one there in the sold-out arena will ever forget. With all the hype and noise that goes on sometimes in bodybuilding, at the end of the day, it's important to remember that this thing we all love is really about entertainment at the end of the day. And as far as I'm concerned, there aren't too many guys in the 212 division who are more entertaining right now than second year man Dwayne King Q Quamina. Earlier in the week, the best trash talker in the division dropped a new update on his fans that probably brought a few smiles to some faces. To his credit, it looks like King Q might be on the way to delivering some of the promises he made back at the start of his prep. And if he really does end up coming in this year as a top five finisher, this season could seriously end up being one of those changing of the guard moments. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions. 
and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.